Alrighty, thanks for joining me today. Another rip of some 2021 Prism Baseball. I know I did say I would not be ripping any more Panini product as far as baseball related, but I had this sitting basically on my bookshelf and I said, well, instead of selling it, which I'm selling the rest of the other blasters and megas, I figure I'd go ahead and just rip these. Reason being, I actually do enjoy the red, white, and blue prism parallel there. So, looking forward to those. See if we can find any rookies. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do this and then talk over in regards to the giveaway, which I will be doing for this video. If you are watching this video and you are interested in any cards you see, I will choose three specific cards at the end that you can choose from. And I will do a random comment picker. Go ahead and make a comment out of the three that I choose. I'll get more into that when the time comes, but I'll go ahead and pick a winner and we'll get those sent off. Okay, we will hold the bonus packs, I suppose, which is only right to do, but let's get in these little fancy prism. I love prism with football but baseball not so much it's the only time i've ever opened prism baseball it's the same kind of design as 2020 which i'm assuming is what they do anyways we've all seen it i haven't never will, haven't watched any videos we have a zach mckinstry luan diaz luis campusano it's not a bad one there a lot of rookies definitely spencer howard Trey Turner, we'll just kind of run through the base. Nate Pearson's a good one for Toronto. Man, they are loading up or trying to. Dylan Carlson, nice one. Dig that one. Definitely on the top running for Rookie of the Year. And a Fearless of uh, Rafael Devers and a Green. Ooh, too bad it wasn't last year. We'll put our inserts right here. Get our monumental stack of rookie cards. Definitely digging that stack of rookies that they put in just one pack. A nice prism, green parallel of Randy Arosarena. Too bad, like I said, it was not last year, but I dig it, I dig it. Um, I guess we're gonna go up there with, we're just gonna make a whole bunch of stacks and a fireworks Paul Goldschmidt, possible feature Hall of Famer right there. Next up is the next pack and Ryan Castellani, rookie card there. Jack Morris, Ronald Acuna Jr. For story, he just got traded from the Giants. Well, not traded, picked up by the Chicago White Sox. So they got him back. <laughs> they let him go on waivers and they got him back. He's speedy, but he never hit the, the club this year. He might have. I think he. Made a spot last year in 2020. Anyways, Fernando Tatis Jr. Not plural, but I thought there might have been some print lines there. Jeff McNeil, a illumination of Luis Robert. Or do you want me to say Robert? I feel like Robert, Robert is fitting. Is that a silver? We have a Mookie Betts, and I believe this is a silver Lumber Ink Juan Soto insert. Not a bad one there. It's got like the double prism on the top. I'm not quite sure what that means. Yeah, parallel par pile. Parallel pile. Tongue twister a little bit for Ryan. Charlie Blackman, Sluggers insert. Ending that one out. Actually digging these paninis. Prisms for some reason. I don't know. Just haven't opened anything all week, so maybe I'm excited about it. Uh, we'll try to speed this up. Evan White. A rookie. Oh, that first pack just had a whole bunch of Eloy Jimenez. Everyone is getting on his train, that is for sure. Luis Patino, not a bad pitcher. Actually, no longer in the Rays, I believe. Um, William Contreras, Atlanta. And we have a Aaron Judge, stained glass, I believe, is what these are in. Called or something, I believe something along the lines. Anyways, 
That is an insert. We have a silver emergent LS Cespedes. Dig it. And a rookie class of Ha Sung Kim. Okay. Just trying to make sure these stacks don't go haywire. Because. Well, these cards are slippery. What is that on the back? Well, I got them all nice and pretty, and then, of course, I just went kaboom. All right, second to last base pack, I suppose, if you want to call it that, Jim Tobe. We have a Braylon Marquez. Rookie card, Larry Walker, just got inducted. Tyler Stevenson, not a bad one right there. Got your first Cincy. Reds, Mickey Moniak. Okay, don't know too much about him. Definitely know enough about Jesus Sanchez. Florida's got a lot of young rookies hitting the, the run. We'll see what they do with that. Buster Posey announced retirement several weeks ago, right after the uh, World Series game. Picked up a few of his cards, PSA 10s. They, sh they doubled in price in like two days. I picked him up right before, kind of had the inside scoop that he was going to retire. Picked up, up two PSA 10s for about $200 each. And like the next two days, they were all selling for like 400 bucks. So it's when it, you know, it pays to have a inside information. No, we have a silver stargazing. Let's continue on. I'm sure most of you don't really care about my Giants and Buster Posey, but I think he deserves some respect for what he did in his career. He, uh, future Hall of Famer remains to be seen. What do you guys think? Buster going to make it to the Hall? Let me know if you think so. Not a bad rookie on the back. We'll see how he does next year, but we'll get to him in a second. Let's run through these. Francisco Lindor, Blake Snow. Alex Manoa. Tucker Davidson, Nolan Arenado in his Cardinals Uni, Babe Ruth, put some vintage players in, in here if you want to call it that, Manny Machado, sorry, some of these cards are s sticking, Jorge Mateo, a fearless of Ramon Loriano, Lur <laughs> have another green parallel. Jorge Noah, and the green parallel is going to be an Alex Rodriguez. Oh man. A lot of people hate him, a lot of people will still like him, I guess. Don't know really what to say about it. Keep Ryan Hayes. Nice little rookie class insert. And let's get into these bonus packs. I'm assuming all of these are going to be the red, white, and blues. We can, like I said, I have not opened this product up. And if you have opened this product or seen it been opened, these packs are not the easiest to get into. Got pieces flying, we'll get there. Speed this up, so they're all gonna be red, white, and blue. An Andrew Vaughn rookie, it's not a bad dig there. Are they all rookies? Debbie Garcia. Bobby Dalback. it's a nice little rookie. Red, white, and blue. Ooh, that's a pretty card. I like that. It's a good one. Dylan Carlson, red, white, and blue. I like the uh, with the blue uni on that picture. For sure. Another A Rod, red, white, and blue, and we have a fearless red, white, and blue Casey Mize. So. I'm digging this prism for whatever it's worth. No, uh, you know, everyone's on their each of own of non exclusive Panini product, but it's all right for what it's worth. Austin Meadows, Dalton Jeffries, Daniel Lynch, a Jose Marmorelejos, <laughs> Anthony Stander. An old school of Harmon Killebrew. Sadie. 
first pack was a little bit better than that second one. This one was certainly easier to open. Christian Yulich, Yu Darvish, Labor Torres, Hubert Ruiz is a decent rookie card, who is now Washington Nationals in that trade with Max Scherzer. Greg Crochet, Chris Bryant will remain to be seen what team lands him in free agency. Oh, some of these are difficult. There's definitely going to be a lot for y'all to, for me, I guess, to pick three cards. And also, if you are still sticking around, I will announce the winner of previous baseball giveaway. We'll kind of just kick it with each week. We'll do a football baseball giveaway for the time being. I think we just saw this card. Definitely a duplicate. We just saw that card. I don't mind duplicates. Is this the same pack almost? Estevan Floreal. Is it Paredes and Randy Rosarena? Okay. Got a decent stack of red, white, and blues. And the final red, white, and blue pack. It's going to be, I was gonna say, if we have another Casey Mize, red, white, and blue, fearless, I don't know. Nate Pearson, not a bad one there. Josh Fleming, Shane Bieber, Jeff Bagpipes, Kyle Hendricks, and in and in out is Trevor Larnick. Okay, man, what qualifies? I'm going to put this out there and see if anyone picks him. That's one. The A-Rod. I'm just curious what the, the uh, we'll leave the Rooks out. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Get our base out of the way. Sorry, you know what? Using the wrong hand there. And going like this. Let's see, the key Brian Hayes is not a bad possible contender. Let's see if there's Anything else of that? Like some kind of no? I was like that white. Why is it all white? Hmm. Up there, Paul Goldschmidt. Eh. Yeah, we'll do the Keybrine Hayes. Let me find something else out of this red, white, and blue. Might be of interest. Um, bagpipes is not a bad one. You know, since I got two Casey Mize Fearless, we'll do that. Let's roll with that. Put so that's the one. Was it earlier that? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So this is probably just trying to see if there's a difference if anything. It looks like we're all the same for the most part. I think I'm just trying to see which one's centered better really quick off the top. I'm liking the right one better than the left. So uh, I think do I don't know they were pretty close I couldn't figure it out there off the, the top but these three cards you can choose from key Brian Hayes rookie class insert you can say as you want just mention key Brian Hayes if you do pick him you can get the a rod green parallel prism Or the Casey Mize. I have a feeling people probably have to 
want this one. Red, white, and blue. Prism Fearless insert. So take your pick of those three to choose from. Write your player in the comments and I will choose a winner in the video sometime next week. I'm not quite sure when I'll choose the winner, but if you see this, I don't think I'm going to wait a week long. So if you happen to see this video relatively soon, I'll probably do it sometime mid next week. Choose a winner and get another video up. So um, that will be it for this video. Sorry, I was staring at this like glue or something stuck on <laughs> Lariano's helmet. It was irritating me. Okay, let's get over the computer. Let's pick a winner for last week's video. And hopefully you enjoyed this one. Again, let me know which one of these cards you would like to choose. Write your comment in the section below. And we'll head on to the video and choose last week's winner. And go with that. Thanks for watching this one. See you in a second. Alrighty, welcome back. Time to pick the winner of this video here for the Mosaic Mega Box winner. We're copying the text, going over to the YouTube. I already actually pasted it. We'll just do it again, just to confirm. We're filtering duplicate users, so if you commented more than once, you are not entered. I think I can't remember whether it was this video or the football box that some people were commenting players that actually were not eligible. So anyways, we'll roll with it. I know there wasn't that many comments, so the chances are pretty great. We're going to get you to, let's see, include filter. And I did try to test it during the week. I guess you can't add more than one word. I didn't say, hey, put their last name in. But apparently you can't put more than one word for a specific text. It just doesn't pick it up. So we're just going to roll with whatever you wrote. And um, we'll pick a winner that way. We don't need to do anything else. Get YouTube comments. There's only five of you that are eligible. Pretty good chance. Here we go. And it is going to be Wilbur Cookmeyer. Good looking out. I just subbed and liked. I like the Achiro. Salute. We'll salute back to you if it's military reference because, well, that was my, my life for several years. Anyways, you are the winner. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing, especially. All the above. Please reach out to me at Sports Cards. Let me check. Let me try that again. Reach out to me at Sports Card Factory. Dot <laughs> oh, man. My, my brain. I'm sorry. Family in town. Sports Card Factory at gmail.com. I just got to say it fast and I'll roll right sportscardfactory at gmail.com. It's also in the description. You can go ahead and email me that way. Uh, I will try to maybe pin a comment with you tagged. I'll just try to do multiple variations of getting your attention in case you don't happen to watch this video. But that is the winner. I'm sure most of you have left by now. Uh, if you have just still sticking around and we're, we're waiting, you know, you have another chance for that Panini Prism rip that we just did go ahead and comment below for one of those three that we just went through and uh, we'll pick a winner sometime next week thank you all for watching take care have a good one